Hi, I'm Thomas, Delta Charlie 3 Tango Bravo from Germany and one of my hobbies is ham radio. If you want to see some new ideas concerning my new radios and antennas, feel free to subscribe my channel. I have bought all the equipment from my own money and yeah, also feel free to leave a comment. Today I want to show you how I have eliminated QRM, so radio interferences. If you have big interferences in QRM, watch the video completely and please share the video with other radio operators who have got the same problems and I think it will help everybody. I have divided the whole process in four steps. First, I was taking my handheld radio and I was looking for the sources of the QRM. Then I used my main antenna and I used my ham radio to check the QRM on every band. We know not every signal must be QRM. It can come from the atmosphere or from the sun, from other ham radio operators and so on. So look on my video here and you see what I had got for a type of QRM. Yeah, this is a 40 meter band. And in AM you can recognize the QRM much better. So switch to AM, not LSB or USB. It was really strong and sometimes 9 plus 20 dB. The interference was coming from my power inverter, which changes the current from 230 volts to 13 and 8 volts. What have I done against that? At the moment nothing. I just have bought a new one. Then I found the second source of my QRM. Here it was the power inverter. And yeah, it was not so less QRM. It was really, really a strong signal. And in the following video you see what I have done with my power inverter. To be honest, it was not really efficient. Um, I could not really measure big differences to use such toroids, um, but then I have done something else. So using uh, one or two windings on these toroids haven't changed mu uh, really much. So the frequency was a little bit drifting of the QRM and the interferences have changed a little bit, maybe one or two uh, S signals, but it was not enough. So well, my next step was to use aluminum foil completely around the DC cables. And now on, on this video you can see the big difference. Yeah, on 18 megahertz you see uh, the S meter, it's 9 plus 5, 9 plus 10 dB and a typical sound. With shielded DC cables the S value is 6 to 6.5 so much better than before. But now look on the value after changing my main power inverter. Now I hear some other signals and maybe we have got here some PLC and it sounds a little bit like a alarm bell. That could be an LED. So I am not at the end. But at the moment I'm really happy about the result. The last step would be to speak with the neighborhood and maybe to find and replace a PLC with a good network cable.
At the end just an example on 27 megahertz and here you can see too that it is really really good to use aluminum foil around the DC cables of your photovoltaics system. So thank you very much for your attention and 73 bye bye.